Welcome back to our CodeHS Python tutorials. Today we'll be working with Tracy the Turtle to draw a dashed line across the canvas. This project will help us practice moving Tracy across the x-axis using specific distances while adding gaps to create a dashed effect. Let's get started. In this lesson, we want Tracy to draw a dashed line starting from the left side of the canvas, moving across to the right. Our goal is to make sure each line segment is 50 pixels long with 50 pixels of space in between each dash. This will create a dashed effect across the x-axis. To figure out how many times we'll need to repeat this process, it's helpful to know that the canvas width is 400 pixels. Since each dash and space between dashes together make up 100 pixels, 50 pixels for the line, 50 for the space, we'll need about four repetitions to cover the width of the canvas. Let's start by moving Tracy to the far left side of the canvas. We'll use the pinup command to lift Tracy's pen so she doesn't draw any lines while moving. Then backward 200, we'll move her back 200 pixels from the center setting her up at the starting position on the left. Pin up, backward, 200. Now that Tracy is in position, we're ready to start drawing the first dash. We'll use pen down to lower the pen and forward 50 to make Tracy draw the first line segment, which will be 50 pixels long. Pen down, forward, 50. After drawing the dash, we need Tracy to skip 50 pixels before drawing the next one. We'll use pen up, again to lift the pen so she doesn't leave a trail, and then forward 50 to move her forward by 50 pixels, creating the space between dashes. Pen up forward at 50. Next, we'll repeat the same steps to draw additional dashes. We'll use pen down and forward 50 to draw the next dash, and then pen up and forward 50 to skip another 50 pixels for spacing. Repeating these commands will give us a dashed line effect across the canvas. Pen down, forward and 50, pin up, forward of 50, pen down, forward to 50, pen up, forward to 50, pin down, forward 50, pen up, forward to 50. In this code, we're repeating the steps to draw a dash and then skip a space. Each time, Tracy draws a line, lifts the pen, and moves forward 50 pixels. This code will cover the canvas with four dashed segments as calculated. Now that you are finished, please run the code by pressing the Run button. If your code is correct, you should see four dashed lines on your screen across the screen. If your code does not produce an image like the image in the result world pane in code HS, you can check the correctness of your code by clicking on the check code button. If you run into any issues, please feel free to stop, rewind, and review the steps in this video. Once your code runs as expected and it is verified to be correct after using the check code feature, make sure you click the save button and then the submit and continue button to submit the assignment for grading. Now let's talk about how we could make this code more efficient. Instead of writing each set of commands multiple times, we could use a for loop to simplify the process. Here's how it would look. First, let's identify those parts of the code that fit outside the repetitive commands. The first pinup command and the backward 200 command are not repeated if we can recall what we learned in earlier lessons. The default drawing command for Tracy the Turtle is pen down, and the default starting position is zero, zero. So we still need the program to lift the pen up so it does not draw a line on the canvas when we're moving Tracy the Turtle to the edge of the canvas to start drawing the lines. So we will start with those two commands, but we will exclude them from the for loop. So, in the coding pane, we will enter the following commands. Pin up, backward and 200. If we clear and run the code, you will see that Tracy has moved to the edge of the screen along the zero axis. Now that Tracy is in the right spot, 
we can consolidate the repetitive parts of the code by using a for loop. If we look at the code, the commands that are repeated are pen down, forward and 50, pin up, and forward and 50. These four commands are repeated four times. Four is what you will place inside the open and closed parenthesis in the for loop. To use the for loop, you can type the following into the coding pane, making sure that the commands that follow the for loop are indented, which you can do by pressing the tab button on your keyboard to move the cursor over. For I in range, four, pen down, forward, 50, pen up, forward, 50. With this for loop, we tell Tracy to repeat the dash and space process four times. This makes our code shorter, easier to read, and more efficient. Using a for loop like this is a great way to streamline repetitive tasks, which we'll continue exploring as we advance in Python. Well, there you have it. In just a few lines of code, we've created a dashed line across the x-axis using Tracy the Turtle. We also planted the seed for using for loops to make the code more efficient, which is an important skill to practice as you develop more advanced coding projects. Thank you for watching. Remember to experiment with different values to see how they affect the design and try using loops to simplify your code. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more CodeHS tutorials. And if you have any questions, reach out in class, on Teams, in Canvas, or via email. See you in the next video.